in Wayne County. Zach is there tracking some possible flooding in and around Goldsboro. Zach, what you got? Hey, good evening, Wes. Yeah, a lot of people paying attention to river flooding uh, that, according to the National Weather Service in Raleigh, they tweeted this out, continues along the Noose River near Goldsboro. And I want to show you a situation that we're monitoring right here on Stevens Mill Road. What you're looking at is the entrance to the Noose Correctional Institution. And I've counted here, Wes, there's probably about a dozen of these Division of Prisons inmate transfer buses. I'm going to go ahead and pan with our rooftop camera from the CBS 17 Weather Beast. You can see all these buses and vans are lined up here this entrance uh, we have reached out to North Carolina DPS officials uh, regarding the situation or if they are preparing for a possible evacuation of the prison DPS officials tell us that they can't confirm nor deny that they are doing a, a a uh, possible evacuation due to the flooding that, that is being tracked around this area, but they all are, are keeping safety top of mind uh, regarding the staff and the inmates. We're told there's about 700 inmates at this prison, West. But again, you see live here lots of uh, inmate transfer buses lined up, and they are uh, keeping track of anything uh, that this flooding could bring here to the area in Wayne County. And of course, we're going to keep a track on conditions all throughout the Goldsboro here in Wayne County area with the Noose River uh, flooding, according to the National Weather Service in Raleigh, and we'll keep you posted on what we find here from the CBS 17 Weather Beast. I'm Zach Dahlheimer. Back to you. 